Hello, my friends, and welcome back to Let's Play Stormblood. Now, before we continue on our actual quest today, one thing I completely forgot to mention last episode that I wanted to mention but completely forgot until like the last minute, and I'm like, I'll just save it for here, is now that we know Yugiri is from Suino Sato, if I can speak English today, we now have an explanation for why we have yet to encounter her and why she and Gosetsu have separated. She grew up here. She knows these waters. And while it's never, I don't think it's never actually explained if the people of Suino Sato also have the Kojin's blessing to breathe underwater. Um, some of them might. Like, they don't question how the hell, you know, we were able to get to their place. So they seemingly assume that we have such a blessing so it's not really out there that that much out there to consider that some of them may do but regardless of whether she does or she doesn't she would know exactly how to avoid the confederacy anyway so she's probably long since we passed been on the shores of doma before we even set in foot in kugane to begin with so she may have already reunited with her and Gosetsu's master and they're probably wondering what the hell is taking the rest of us so dang long to get there and she doesn't even know we're here. So it's going to be definitely a surprise to, for her to see us once again. She's probably going to be like, what the heck are you guys doing here? Like, what? Holy crap. So now with that out of the way, now we can actually put the, our plan into complete motion. We've taken all the necessary steps, now we just need to make it happen. And hopefully everything goes off just fine. <laughs> yeah, what's nice? It's okay to be a little scared, like... We're going to a place you've never been to before. It's okay to be a little nervous. Like, you may not be completely outright, you know, scared or terrified, but little butterflies in the stomach is, is a good thing. Yeah, we need, to, we need to be cautious, we need to be careful, we need to be not be reckless, Alize. come on. So it's gonna be quite a bit of a little bit journey here, but there's one thing I... I haven't found a good place to mention or discuss at any previous points, but one thing I, I want to make note of is I'm both happy and I'm also simultaneously disappointed. Um, Lisa and Elise actually get along very well. Um, but not at any point is it ever actually mentioned. Ooh, wow, decorations. I wonder if we're going in the right place. But, you have Lise who serves the function as, well, kind of village idiot. Uh, she's smarter than she seems, she's just not book smart, and Elise absolutely is, you know, one of the youngest people ever submitted to the studium. But it doesn't affect how they get along, and it kind of both makes me happy and both annoys me that they don't ever mention this at, at any point in time. Like, they're... they're difference in intelligence levels doesn't affect their friendship at all and I find I find that absolutely great and fascinating but I think the 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 game could do with a joke here about it here and there but I'm glad they kind of don't because they would probably just just take it too too far um, it probably would have helped Lisa's character a bit to to have her you know, feel dumb around somebody who's nearly a decade younger than her, but Elise obviously doesn't care, you know, and that, I think that would it would have served, like again, Lisa's character a bit well when we actually get to the nitty gritty details much, much later. Um, but on the other hand, it, maybe it's better that they don't because they would probably take it a bit too far. Like, don't get me wrong, like, like, Making fun of Alphano will never get old, but they take it way too far sometimes, you know what I mean? And I f I'm afraid they would have done that, the same kind of thing here. So 
So two people are going to play distraction instead of one. Wait, 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 wait. So, so I'm going to be the bait. I'm going to be the bait and not you. Um, no, I don't want, I just accidentally hit that. Um, interesting plan. I mean, it, it does make a bit of sense. If I'm going to be a distraction, I need to be able to defend myself. And I'm the one in the best position to do that. And you're the smallest, so you can probably sneak better. Um, granted... You know, her being small doesn't make as much sense if, you know, you play as a Lalafell, but that's neither here or there. We're a giraffe. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. That's our logic for the reasoning for this time. We're going with that. Gee, it would have been nice if the blue cogent, you know, marked the vault on the map for us. No, I will never stop harping on about that. Once you actually mention we're in the position of the map, of a, any kind of map that we can- we know what Heaven on High is. You can't just ignore the fact that we have a map and then wonder, Oh, this must be the place, this must be the place, this must be the place. Get a pen, get a friend, mark it. Or you could have solved that problem by, you know, never mentioning we had a map in the first place. So, we're kind of trapped in, so our only choice is to surface right here. And, yeah, as you can see, we're on the aisle. Like, our in-game map clearly tells us this is home. This is the home of the Red Kojin. But, why doesn't Tamamizu get, you know, a little blue Kojin mark on it? Come on, I didn't mean to dive there. I'm trying to close my damn map. My keys, my keybinds on my PC controller and my PS4 controller are very, very slightly different. There we go. Plus, I'm not used to actually, you know, regular swimming and having to do all this. Feels so spoiled when you're flying all the damn time, you know? Hey losers, I'm invading your island. La di da di da di da da. I'm here to raid your secret vaults and stuff. Come at me, bros. Blue code to say you smell. I'm gonna be nice to you and not mention to the Imperials that, you know, you're uh pretty religious. Would be shame if you were out of a job and all. Yeah. Actually, one thing we can do. Is we can introduce them to our horse bird. So we're gonna navigate around this place until... Gameplay mechanics conveniently tell us where our next distraction point is. And yeah, we can see striped rays in the wild, and apparently they are capable of land walking too. I don't get it either, but we did just make friends with talking turtles, so there's that, I suppose. Say hello to my stinky horse birds. And you don't get any rags soaked in perfume to have to deal with it. Do you even have a sense of smell? Can turtle, I mean, I know these aren't like obviously, you know, the same as real world turtles, but can real world turtles smell? Does anybody know that? Somebody look that up. Oh, there's even more of them. There will be no seizing today. They're being beat up by a chicken. How does that feel? Kind of a shame he can't speak the common tongue, but he would probably say you're ugly and you lack a beak. I mean, so do I, but...
Oh, hi, Lise. See, you've done well. Oh, well, there's the call right there. Cool. How utterly convenient. How do you know where we are to, no to go to north to the northwest? Unless the vault happens to be in the northwest corner or something. Also, do we have a compass to tell us what direction to go in? Okay, so 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 to her credit, it is on the northwest of the island. Okay, cool. All right. She might easily know that because you know map and stuff, but um. Yeah, something tells me Lise might not have the requisite knowledge to tell what direction north is. I mean, are, are we gonna- I mean, not to, you know, harp on the fact that she's- she's dumb. Like, I'm an adventurer. I might- I might have a compass on me already. Lise probably doesn't. Um, maybe we're using the time of the day in the position of the sun? Maybe? I mean, she had a Charlene education, so she may vaguely be aware of that. Yeah, you tell them. You tell them. We should have brought a megaphone with us being like, Hey losers, we're invading! Thieves! Thieves! Come to steal our most precious treasures! You will pay for this sacrilege! Uh, well, uh, we lied about that. We're actually here to give you one of your treasures. We don't want to take them. That's the spirit. Now don't be shy. I'm more than ready for another round. Seize them! Well, we made it all the way here. I don't think that's going to work anymore. So, did we think about how we were going to escape once we handle this problem? Like, we're here to create, like, a huge freaking distraction, and what the heck is going on? What in the world? Yeah, my thoughts exactly, Lise. These treasures really are divine. But I didn't put it in the vault yet! Unless this whole room just counts as the vault. I wanted to put it on the altar, though. Can I do that? <laughs> Who hath made us whole? Uh, okay, sufficiently creeped out right now? Hark! A great Kami stirs. Yes, yes, a great Kami of the sacred treasures. Oh, great Kami, we beseech your intercession. We who have guarded your blade and glass for generations, your faithful Kojin. Um, apparently it was me. I'm taking credit for this, not that sticky Kojin. Thou didst freely deliver our jewel unto thine enemy's own treasure vault? Um, how do you know they're my enemy? I didn't tell you that. Uh, unless you're like, you know, while you were stuck inside a piece of that jewel, you could hear every word I was saying? Like, okay, I'm really sufficiently creeped out now. But you would also know why I brought it to the vault. <laughs> How auspicious we do commend thee, daughter of man. Such audacity is deserving of celebration, exaltation, a contest of wills to mark the occasion. Let lines be drawn, let sides be chosen. And for their loyalty, we shall stand with the caretakers of our greater part. Oh, perfect. A contest of wills. Just what we need. <laughs> How are you not 
freaked out by the fact that this stuff is talking to you. <laughs> Hearken to us, shelled ones. Upon this day, your wish shall be granted. Curse neither your fate nor its executor, children of man, for we are of the divine, of both heaven and earth, the ringing silence, the raging calm. All riseth and falleth at the whim of capricious fortune. Assume your marks upon the stage and embrace the coming chaos. Okay. So apparently our friends aren't quite freaked out about what's happening. Even though they probably should be. Because I certainly am. I suppose at this point we've seen weirder things, so... It's just another Tuesday for us, I guess, at this point. Susano, and in revelry do we rejoice. That, that's a primal standing in front of us, right? Okay, now there's now somebody's freaked out. And a horde of angry Kojin at our backs. Oh, this contest is getting worse by the moment. Lise, help me clear a path. Yeah, we never did discuss how the hell we were going to get out of here in the first place. Leave them to us and save your strength. You'll be needing it soon enough. Make way! Make way! I'm gonna beat the crap out of them coming in here. I'm sure I'll be fine getting a way out. Spoil not your appetite for the feast, children of man. The dish will be served whether you will it or no. <laughs> Okay, I can't quite decide if you think we're cool or you think we suck. But but you're of the Kami, so clearly you don't speak the same dialect of the common tongue as we do. I I'm gonna take the fact that you didn't immediately kill us is is a good thing. But, uh, I'm gonna take the chance to get the heck out of here, okay? Alright, cool. I've had enough awkwardness for one day. Hopefully the alarm has been sufficiently raised and... You know, hopefully the Confederacy is, uh... Helping liberate, you know, our little fishing village as we speak. Good idea, at least. I can't do- I don't think we can just punch our way out of this one. No, I think that explanation works just fine. Oh, I think they knew. At least to, to, to some extent, you know. It seemed awfully suspicious that, that the way the Elder just phrased it, that they might revel in our mischief making. I think they suspected something would happen. Not maybe necessarily this, but something. Well, we just need a plan that works. Doesn't care how brilliant or stupid it is, does it work? Does this get us the heck out of here? And away from this primal, and hopefully we fulfilled our end of the bargain, and Fishing Village being liberated. That's all I care about right now. Save Gosetsu. And myself. And my friends. But... <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. We got a primal on our hands. We gotta get rid of it, because... That sucks for everybody. 
Okay, and this is one freaking meta joke I wish they didn't put in the game. No, no. No, these trials and shit are a gameplay mechanic. Don't put a meta joke. Stop trying to make it diegetic like this. No, it it actually distracts from the narrative and makes it sound incredibly stupid. Because I don't need, you know, a lot of adventurer friends. You guys are my adventurer friends, okay? Like, really. Yeah, even Alice is like, what the hell are you talking about? <sighs> so I guess I gotta go back. Ugh. I'm gonna thunk this is gonna end with me dealing with a primal problem yet again. I'm an author! Like, I thought this was an Eorzean problem. Alright, so now we have a new duty, the Pool of Tribute, where you know exactly what's gonna happen, right? Right? Right. else got the feeling of deja vu because that's literally the same dang cutscene. Quite literally. Alright, so we're gonna be nice to our friends and give a countdown. That keyboard, I gotta let them know that yes, I know what I'm doing over here. Let the rebels begin! So yeah, you get to see me take a duty for the first time. And I'm probably gonna be awful at it because uh, this controller is slightly different from what I'm used to. At least as far as tanking goes. Um, this PS4 controller is a little slightly wider than the controller I play PC on. So hand position muscle memory is a bit awkward and it can get used to weirdness of taking on long battles like this. Especially on a tank. Um, I've obviously done stuff on this character on White Mage, but not particularly tanking. Okay, no. I'm not stacking with that, apparently. Because he cleaves. He's in meanie pants like that. So I have to say, I definitely like the music here. Um, it is lacking in lyrics, but I think that actually suits it better. Oh, he's got storm clouds he can summon. Okay. Okay, channeling inner Ramu over here, apparently. The seas part for we right, alone. Let's use that to get some MP back. Can't do anything else with my blood rat just yet, so. And we have a new kind of AoE. Which I actually kind of love. Like, it's interesting to have most of the floor is lava, but not all of it. Get, you know, find the magic five pixel wide space, you know. So he hits kind of hard. Um, that's not me in shitty gear. Because my, at this point in the game, is about where Old Heaven's Word gear stops being the best. It's about even right now. But he just he just hits hard in general. That's that's just kind of his thing. Like he's smacking my face with a sword. And I love how the animations for some of his move invoke the very the image of the very jewel that we found in the first place in Return to the Vault. I think that's a very, very nice touch. I mean they're a part of him, so that's kinda cool. 
Now, why he was sealed away in two, three separate vessels, I uh, can't answer that for you. Um, I know very, very little, as in next to nothing, um, about any kind of Eastern folklore, especially anything with the Kami and old legends with them and anything like that. So if anyone um, has any relevant info that would care to educate me, I would definitely appreciate it. You don't need to go out of your way or anything like that. Um, just, just if you already know and have any info that could fill into the gaps, that would just be cool. So here's the reason I went to this fight as a tank. I could have gone as a healer, but I chose to go in this tank. Yeah, he just made himself a giant size. Blade Shadow, what the heck is this? So, yeah. I am holding up his giant ass sword and protecting the rest of the party. With my own weapon. That is freaking amazing. I may actually have to do it twice. And while the other tank, uh, the other tank actually has to, I don't know if you can see it in the background here. There's these orbs that will go toward the party and they explode as soon as they touch somebody and it does do splash damage. So the other tank has to go around and detonating them. I don't know if you can see it from this awkward angle with all the flashiness. I'm really sorry about all that. In the extreme mode, we'll actually have to swap because uh, Susanna was not happy about this. And I love how you still have to dodge his ultimate. Now, it does still obviously do damage because all uh, uh, primal ultimates do, but if you're standing in the middle there, you're just gonna just, just straight up die. And I find that utterly hilarious that the game just put a last minute FU in there, being like, <laughs> you're just still gonna dodge something. So this is this the first time we've seen a tank buster in a normal trial? It it might be. Um, I can't recall off the top of my head any others at the moment. Um, but feel free to correct correct me if I'm wrong. Now he's gonna Titan jail people, and he plays Switcheroo with them, which again I find pretty dang awesome. Dude, I need to put my other stuff on my hotbar. And I'm sorry you just heard my phone. I don't usually get text messages this early in the morning, or text messages really at all, because I'm not a cool person. So, I'm, I'm sorry you just had to hear that in the middle of my talking. The seas part for we alone. And, and I love how- I just love the reverberance in his voice. That he is clearly having a wonderful time with all this. Like, he's, he, he's, he's not angry, he's not upset, he's just like, I'm having a great time and... You're all invited. I'm sorry that has to involve me kicking the crap out of you, but... Oh shit. <laughs> But apparently, the kami do different things on this side of the neighborhood. And I used my crap. That's alright. That's what we got reprisal for. I do need to fix my hotbars because I don't have awareness for some reason on this hotbar and I need to remedy that. convenient that he's putting the other one the ones I need that need to be attacked right next to me so I can be of use that is pretty dang sweet of you today you imprison my friends and you're like hey I'm gonna let you help release them even as I'm smacking you in the face oh, God damn it. this is gonna hurt but it's all right I'll be fine or maybe not of course now fucking shadow wall comes up 
It's all right. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Little dazed, but it's completely fine. Oh, come on. I was right between those two. Something, something, terror attack. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. He's almost dead. We're fine. <laughs> so what happens now? D does he go back into the treasures or, or something? Maybe? I don't know. Does this mean they're fulfilling their end of the bargain? Because if not, I'm going to be a little bit upset at you guys. Nary a peep from the shellback, sir. It's enough to make one wonder. The Red have sounded the alarm. The Isle of Zeki under attack. Fierce fighting in the stronghold. The vault breached by outsiders and strange tales from deep within. All this the Red cannot ignore. Even now, they abandon their posts and flock to the Isle. The Garleans are powerless to stop them. I'll be damned they did it. Well, Captain, wages notwithstanding, I dare say we will not have a better opportunity to drive the Imperials from Asari and rescue our men. On the other hand, naught was put in writing, but if your mind is made up, then that is that. Oh, don't you puss out on me now, you jerk. We had a deal. I should add that if you were to change your mind, none would gainsay your decision, nor think you beholden to your past. Nor would anyone begrudge you a spot of revenge into the bargain. Like the Little Miss said, we knew this day would come. Captain, a word would be nice. Isari may be a rotting husk, but at least the tavern keeper never watered down his drinks. Well said for a temperate man. Huh, I haven't seen those before. Interesting. Not sure what purpose they serve, but... Hear me, comrades! We made a bargain with the Aeosians, and I mean to uphold our end of it. I mean to remind the Garleans that this is our sea, that all here belongs to the Confederacy! Did we actually tell them we were from Aeorzea? All that is theirs is ours for the taking, and take it we shall. We will strip them of everything they hold dear. Someone go double check that because I don't remember if that was ever stated. 
don't know, maybe we just look ethnically Eorzean. Well, what only one of them is actually technically Eorzean, the others are Charlayan. Although, given the nature of their country, they're probably, you know, don't... Well, actually, they don't, but they probably don't have enough ethnic background in and of themselves to be discernible from the rest of Eorzea, so... There's that, I guess. This one is iron. My hands will break before he speaks. Ugh. Come, he give me strength. Are you good at anything? Losing? I had hoped this might prove more productive than blind inquiries, but I see you are determined to waste my time. Very well. Line them up. Kill one for every question he refuses to answer. Hurt them, and you will get naught from me. Well, she hasn't been getting anywhere with you so far anyway. She's got nothing to lose. You have given me precisely that thus far, so what have I to lose? Mark me, Samurai. I will find Lord Hien, be it with your help or with your heads. Confederate scum! You will pay for it! Ah! Confederacy. They've come to save us! You might want to shut up before she shoots you herself. <sighs> and this after I took such pains to cow them. Even pirates have their pride, I suppose. Enough to march to their deaths, no less. Ah, oh, the stupidity of it all. It truly is a sickness. I shall just have to lance the boil. Drain them of every last trace of honor and compassion. Every last drop. My lady, I... I'm going outside. Oh! Oh! The Kami are not finished with you yet. That's all you have to say about all this? There's no end to them. They just keep coming. Then we must be doing something right. We have to hold out for as long as we can. She's counting on us. S Suzano is slain! Slain by the shellless one! You heard it, guys. My friend is- well, I am. <laughs> Quite the badass. You might want to toddle away before I do the rest of you. Yeah, look at me just walk into the place, being like, yeah. Yeah, I know, I'm awesome. Uh, don't turn your backs on them. Is it them. true? Did you defeat him? Well, in that case, how do you fancy helping us keep the Kojin occupied until the Confederacy make their move? What, you didn't hear the cannons from here? Well, I guess we're too busy clashing steel and such, so... Speak of the devils, that's coming from Isari. I think we've done all we can here. Let's withdraw and make for the village. Right, 
Although, they don't seem keen to let us go. Well, they have us surrounded and they're just sitting here. Wait, what? Hear me, Cogent of the Red. We have no quarrel with you, only your Imperial Masters. No more blood need be shed this day. I pray you let us go in peace. Well, it would have been nice if we, you know, this this was the plan you this 20 minutes ago. You dare speak to us of peace? Your flesh will feed the fishes, thief! Attack! But we didn't steal anything. We brought back one of your holy treasures to the vault. You were right there. We didn't take a damn thing. Now's our chance. Don't worry about her, she can handle herself. Okay. If, if it was this easy to get rid of them, we probably should have done this 30 seconds ago. Well, eh, dramatic effect and all. Well, she asked you nicely to let us go in peace. I can't let you take all the glory, can I? Would have been a wise idea if you had actually listened to her. Alright, so this episode has gone on way far too long. I had entirely forgotten how many cutscenes were associated in, in the immediate aftermath. So next time we're gonna meet up on the Isle of Asari and we're gonna see what the heck has been going on and how everybody's doing because we don't know the Confederacy has kept up with the bar and the players know but we don't know that yet. So hopefully for us, that smoke is a sign that they're taking care of the problem and not that Yasuyu is burning the village down. That would kind of suck. So thank you for watching, friends, and I shall see you next time.